today I'm going to be talking about the effects of climate change. And uh, yeah, so start with some questions. What is climate change? So climate change is defined as a change in climate patterns, mostly apparent mid to late 20th century, caused by increasing levels of atmospheric carbon dioxide produced by the use of fossil fuels. So, uh, in definition, it is produced, it is caused by uh, the production of fossil fuels, and uh, so how is it affecting us? Um, climate change uh, is warming the global temperatures at an uh, increasing rate, which means it, it is not stopped, then uh, there will be global disasters by 2050, uh, scientists predict, and rising sea levels and measurably rising sea levels. And that takes a lot of water from open ice caps to actually raise the sea levels at a continual measurable rate. And uh, this graph shows uh, a survey from the U.S. people from the Pew Research Center that says how climate change affects them. And 31% says it affects them personally. 40% uh, says it affects their local community. So this further shows that climate change is affecting us on a daily basis, and if not a daily basis, on a personal level. So my inspiration uh, from the speech to the United Nations General Assembly, uh, Margaret Thatcher, has a quote about the main threat to our environment and uh, what basically what we do that uh, causes climate change and how we can stop it. And then uh, from Bob Dylan's song, Blown in the Wind, he says, how many times must a man look up before he can really see the sky? And uh, after some of my research and reading the speech to the United Nations General Assembly, I really thought about this in a different way than the song was originally intended. I kind of thought about how uh, the pollution in the sky, and we're looking up, we're seeing it, but we're not really doing anything about it. So uh, how many ears must one man have before he can hear people cry? referring to the government and the people not doing anything about the idea of climate change. So uh, we can, in fact, make a change. Uh, this is a scientist from the fuel company BP. It says uh, one example is Biojet, a lower carbon jet fuel, partly from recycled cooking oil that BP sells in Sweden and Norway. This reduces greenhouse gas emissions by more than 60% compared to standard jet fuel. And if this is expanded to more than just Sweden and Norway, this could have a huge impact on uh, the aviation industry and how much it uh, pollutes the environment. And uh, other aspects, such as the economy, some people believe that uh, having more options for fuel and uh, less, uh, um, less environmental, uh, worse, uh, having better options will uh, affect the economy negatively, but this is simply not true. Because having more options will have more consumers buying different things, which will simply help the economy. And uh, this is a quote from the Pipeline and Gas Journal that says, some of the successes include decreasing methane emissions from transformation and storage facilities, 44%, despite a 43% increase in U.S. natural gas consumption. So this is basically just showing that there is things we can do. However, this is with methane and natural gases, not greenhouse gases, but they did make a change from transmission and storage facilities uh, despite increasing consumption. So uh, naturally occurring factors do not control all of climate change. This is a common misconception. Uh, uh, talks about it in the uh, speech of the United Nations. Uh, it says, the causes are to be found in nature itself, changes in the Earth's orbit, changes in the amount of radiation given off by the sun, the consequential effects on the, ocean, on the plankton in the ocean and volcanic processes. Um, this is some of the effect, but it's not all of it, obviously, not a huge amount. From the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, it says, human emissions and activities have caused around 100% of the warming observed since 1950. Uh, it, Notice it says around 100%, so this is not completely accurate, uh, but obviously most of it is caused by human. Uh, so how can we make, how can we change the course? So one broad change we can have is stricter laws. Uh, stricter laws would obviously help, uh, such as regulating the amount of emissions companies can have, uh, changing what companies do to cause emissions. This would obviously help, but it's obviously not going to be an easy task. Uh, legislation is obviously hard to pass in the U.S., especially with something so controversial. So uh, this uh, isn't very realistic at the time right now, but it could happen in the future if we are more knowledge on, on the topic and we also know what we want. And uh, uh, also energy efficient options such as Tesla and other energy efficient cars, uh, electric cars, these uh, obviously cause less emissions. And then the biofuels mentioned previously at a larger scale, obviously not just in Norden and Swoop. Sweden and Norway, but uh, and maybe all over, and this could obviously help. And then uh, just energy efficient options such as windmills, uh, solar panels, and uh, hydroelectric. Yeah.
Okay, so um, your first question is, uh, how did you handle the differing perspectives in order to reach a conclusion? So in my research, the uh, most prevalent perspectives were obviously environmental and scientific. Um, but I wanted to kind of take a different approach to be able to get all, much of broad perspectives, such as futuristic and economic. So uh, combining all these together helped me come to the conclusion of different solutions that could help and also uh, the urban solutions. Okay. And then your second question would be, um, what additional questions emerged from your research and why are these questions important? Um, one question that I found during my research uh, was this, uh, how uh, the environment, how uh, climate change affects us rather than how we can affect climate change. I think the reciprocal came up a lot because uh, scientists are predicting things that will happen in the future with climate change, such as rising ocean levels and cities flooding, and I think that came up a 